Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel. Or to the channel if you're new here and to episode 33 in our All the Mods 9 series. So I got up to a couple of things between episodes and I have some other stuff to go over with you. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos. And let's get on with the fun. Alrighty, so as mentioned in the intro, there are a couple of things that I'm going to go over with you guys. But as always, I have some comments to go over. So Wildbird uh, mentioned that if you consider getting into Batania, which I will be for sure, it has a wonderful tool called a... No, I'm not going to say... I know it's... I know, I know this word is... <laughs> I know this, it's a tool. However, uh, I'm not going to say the first part of that because it's YouTube and I don't know if I'm going to get dinged for it. So um, we're, we're, we're just going to call it a world shaper. <laughs> you guys can see on the screen here what it says. And they say that it is able to give you as perfect a circle outline as you can get in block world. <laughs> so th they're referring to um, <clears throat> the room I had mentioned for the blueprint of the layout of the house that I'm going to do. So thank you so much, Wildbird, because that's going to be a huge help. We'll have to figure out how to use that. And they say, I personally love to use it to help with building domes and towers. And it, uh, it is almost always one of the first things I create after getting the endo flame set up with droppers and hovering hourglasses. Now, if anyone here has seen my FTB Sky series, you guys know how much I love Batania. So I'm really excited to start getting into that. I can show you guys how to use the mod and everything like that. So I'm really, really excited for that. And um, I lost my, my train of thought went all over the place. <laughs> the trinket box is also a great thing to carry around to keep those trinkets from clogging, clogging up my inventory. I love the crafting halo as well with the ma manufacturing add to it. I find it easier that the crafting table. Cr sorry, I'm reading this weird. I find it easier than the crafting table on a stick to use. The crafting table on a stick, I just have it set to a keybind, so it's easy peasy. The man in glass pick is a great way to avoid needing silk touch to pick up glass. I tend to be the housewife in our playthroughs when he is uh, the explorer, so it, it is a whole comment, but yeah. Thank you so much for all of those tips, Wildbird. I appreciate you. That's really, really, really helpful. And thank you for the kind comment about, uh, about just everything. I really appreciate you, and I'm really glad you guys got into all the mods. That's awesome. Uh, so Shanksy. It says to remove AE2 buses and cables easily, make a crescent hammer or an AE2 wrench, but I prefer the crescent hammer. And you will be able to shift right click on AE2 cables and whatnot to pick them up instantly to your inventory. So actually, let's put that over here. Uh, crescent hammer. Yes, there it is. Okay, thank you, Shanksy. I will definitely give that a go. So uh, BWC says if you have a master infusion crystal, you don't need to break down the inferium blocks. You can go four inferium blocks, one prudentium block, etc. Thank you. I tested that out in the other world and that works like a dream. So we're definitely going to be using that. So thank you for that tip. I appreciate it. Now, Naughty left a comment. Naughty Professor, and they say, a quick way of crafting essence that I usually do in my world is using an RF Tools Tier 3 crafter and have the Inferium imported in. I, uh, I'll to do that another time. I'm not setting all that automation stuff up today. But the part of their comment that uh, I want to read here, hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Oh, they were just explaining the RF tools tier through crafter. Oh my gosh, if I could like read properly. So they say set the first recipe as turning inferium into blocks with a button that says INT. I think that's default. Set to INT so what's crafted stays inside. I don't know how familiar you are with the crafter. Sorry if you do know, I'll explain simply though, just in case. I Listen, I always tell you guys, if I know something, it doesn't matter. Just leave the comments, explain things because you never know, right? <laughs> and it'll help other people too, so... Um, the next recipe is four blocks of inferium around the master infusion crystal with INT set. Next is four blocks of prudentium around the master crystal with INT set. Fourth recipe is in there's explaining going up the line there. And um, they say then all you need is power and it'll passively generate blocks of insanium essence for you, which gives you nine insanium essences, which in turn can be downcrafted to each of the other essences. Hope this helps. Thank you. That is actually really helpful. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really tinkered with RF tools that much, but that does definitely help. So thank you for all the comments, you guys. Those are absolutely lovely. And again, I appreciate them a ton. So... Um, as of the last episode, you guys know I had that struggle with the furnaces and stuff. I am a derp because I'm so used to, uh, refined storage. I was doing it completely wrong. First of all, I didn't use the ME extended, um, export bus. I was trying to use the tag one, which obviously it's not going to work. I mean, it will, but it's more complicated. And also I'm not used to things being connected Oops, I'm. This is the wrong one. I am a, an absolute doofus. Hold on, this is the this is the wrong one. This over here. I I don't, I don't want to use my pick, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, so here I'm not used to the cable 
not having something on the other end, but I just connected the cable straight into the bottom of this. And then I put the filter over and obviously it's, it's branched over here. I, I have to fix that, but it doesn't really matter. Nothing goes in there. Um, and I just set all of the ores that I want to go into the furnaces. These give an insane amount of XP. If you look at my XP bar. So if I just do this, like, look at that. That's freaking wild. I love it. But uh, yeah, so we've got lots of experience and all that stuff from those. I got it all set up. All it took was me going and getting a tea and just like clearing my brain a little bit and coming back and being like, wait a second, something's not right here. <laughs> and then I just turned things around and I was like, ah, it works. <laughs> and I did my, my little happy dance of figuring it out on my own. So that's all set up and done now. And uh, we're going to go over to the chunk destroyer because I'm actually going to do a thing with the chests. I'm going to be setting specific, um, specific, oh my God, my brain filters on the chest themselves so a i can have more stack upgrades and i don't have to put the void upgrades in there and i'm actually going to be making a void upgrade for the chunk destroyer to just destroy like the dust and stuff like that so uh yeah we're going to be setting all that up and uh, it's just it's I i've been tinkering with different ways of how i want to do it on my other world and this is the one that works the best for me because it'll compact all the blocks into block form which then will go in here and then the furnaces will suck up and, and start smelting everything um but yeah so that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. And also, we're going to go and get some pig liches because I need... I don't remember if I got one for the deep learner yet. I think I did. Um, I should have one. I'm pretty sure I scooped one. Oh my gosh, something's on my keyboard. There we go. I do have one. Okay, he's right here. So we're just going to do a little bit of pig lich booping. Because um, I want to get some of those hearts going uh and i mean i'm just gonna do it super cheesy i'm just gonna boop them a bunch with my, my bow and stuff like that it's just it's just gonna be easier for me to do it <coughs> that way excuse me goodness my throat's already doing it but yeah so we're gonna do that i would like to go and get a, a model of the ender dragon so we're going to go and boop her a few times and another hilarious thing and this is a vanilla thing by the way and I don't think I've ever noticed it because I don't really have cats around my properties and like I never really did in vanilla Minecraft, which is surprising because I love cats. So I had phantoms and I was wondering where the heck the hissing was coming from. And it was Robert hissing at the phantoms and the phantoms were just like leaving. They were just like they were coming down. He would hiss and they would go back up. And I, I know it's a vanilla mechanic, but it was still absolutely hilarious for me to watch. <laughs> Because I'm so used to him just meowing away and all of a sudden I hear hissing and it's just like, oh, it's so funny. It was happening while I was just goobing about and getting things made um, when I spent about six hours making these. So it was like six hours of me in the game and doing life stuff, but I made four of the 1,000, or sorry, the 16,384k ME disk drives. So we have a space <laughs> and I made the ME extended drive as well, but look at all that space look at all that space 16 million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand two hundred and sixteen bytes per disk <laughs> but of course always nbt stuff and all the other junk is in here so um it's not gonna clog up our system and do silly things but oh yeah she's she's tasty she's tasty she's got lots of space now and another thing i got up to is i redid my gear because i wanted to get all uh, perfect gems in so now we have i'm not even done yet but i have a perfect um i don't even remember what these are called whatever this orange one was something something family crown something i don't remember so i got 15 percent to all stats in my helmet i've got six luck in my chest 30 percent max health in my chest 10 plus 10 max health in my pants plus six luck in my pants as well <laughs> 65 percent speed in my boots and um i rolled them all for other stuff so you guys can see my hearts are all the way up to like the peach hearts which is how many is that like five or six rows of hearts it's wild and i'm glad they actually did it this way so you don't have like a massive bar of like hearts taking up a bit of your screen so yeah plus pretty colors so yeah, those are the, the updates between episodes that I've done. And uh, there's a couple other plans for today, but we're going to go to the other. I'm going to find a bunch of the pyramids and we're going to go and scoop up some pigliches and cages so I can. Um... Oh, I don't have any cages made. I thought I did. I swore I had cages. Huh. I guess not. Okay. Let's go find some pigliches. 
Okay, hopefully, hopefully the audio is okay. So we're going to go over to Z M the other. I just want to double check this stuff. Who's in here? The witches. Why did I do it? Oh, glowstone, right. And then this one was a wither. Oh yeah, we got tons of nether stars. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So what else did I get up to? I don't think I really, oh yeah, I had to spend time. Also, another thing with these guys is I converted them all down. So like the guys on the ends here are one emerald for the Certus. I converted all these guys in the middle here down to one for four. But for whatever reason, they refused to go any lower. Like when I put them in, back in here, they were back to three. And then I put them on the ground, they were to 64. And I was like, oh my God. So this mod is so temperamental. But anyways, if you guys notice that, ha that happening, you're not the only one, I promise. And yeah, I spent all kinds of time getting all this stuff done and getting Certus and oh my gosh, it was it, it was grindy. But like I said, I really enjoy that stuff. So I do need to make a model though for, oh, I didn't put the Chunk Destroyer back. Perfect. I need to make a model for the Ender Dragon because we're going to go and boop her a few times. So let's get him out of here. Um, how many do I need for the Ender Dragon? Let's see. So I'm gonna need six, okay. So that's, uh, oh God, brain. So 24 Ender Crystals? No, wait. 28, because I have to do the initial one as well. Oh no, I guess it would still be 24. Oh my God, if I could type. <laughs> it's a good thing we did gas tears. <laughs> it is a good thing we did gas tears. Oh my gosh. Okay, so should we do the end dragon thing first? Mm. Yeah, let's do the end dragon thing first. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that first. Okay. And then we'll go do the pigliches. <clears throat> so um, before I even get there, we're gonna turn this down. And we're gonna turn this down because we know how absolutely wildly crazy loud she gets. Oh, it's so weird not hearing the blocks. Oh my God. I still haven't grabbed the egg either. There we go. That's still so loud. Oh my god. Hello, sunshine. Where you at? Oh, my block reach is wild right now. Hello, sunshine. Oh. I thank you. I thank you. <laughs> I set... So I have a... Uh, oh, I forgot to go over the enchants that I put on my gear. So I can actually safely break this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they've made it... Oh, crap. Arrow. So the block reach is just absolutely crazy. It's from a, an enchant called reach. And I also have, oh, and I forgot to tell you guys about vitality. So I also have vitality on my gear, which adds um, a ton of hearts. I didn't even max out the vitality either. So if I got vi vitality to like the, the highest one, although I can't remember if six is or not, but yeah, it just, it gives you a whole ton of hearts. You can only put it on your chest plate though. Oh, you know what I should have done? Uh, I think before we fight her again, I'm going to go get glass bottles. That's what I should have done. So we'll grab one of these. We'll just go grab some glass bottles. Hello, sunshine. Oh, thank you. Should have picked up everything here. Yep. We're just going to do this real quick and then we're going to go and get some glass bottles because we're going to need that dragon breath. 
at some point. There we go. Um, maybe I'll grab more actually. Let's do that. Boop. All right, let's do it again. So now it should say, oh, 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 oh. Um, oh, just one remaining. Wait, what? Wait, what? What one kill is just three? Okay. I mean, cool. Makes my life a little bit easier. This Enderman, it sounds so funny without being able to hear them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean it doesn't sound anything, but it <laughs> Alright, well if we're only fighting her one more time, I need to get a bunch of breath. cages cages oh it only did one cage all right so i'm not gonna break oh actually i guess i could break the crystals it doesn't matter she's still gonna shoot her breath at me that arrow should have hit come on me okay breath please come on oh 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 I need that and it's so funny not hearing her okay oh no are you gonna shoot your breath anywhere no dang it come on oh there was there was, there was one right there damn I don't want to just click randomly because you get the Batania Ender Air or whatever. Hi. You shoot your breath at me, please. Why are you not shooting your breath at me? Right, should I go down here? I'll make it easier. Breath, please. Ma'am. Seriously? <laughs> she she doesn't stop shooting it usually, but now she's just like, nah. Oh my god, you guys are the worst. Stop it. The literal worst. Go away. Where is she? Why are you not giving me any breath? Hello? Oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen her not shoot breath this much ever. And how is she already damaged? I didn't hit her once. I mean, I could hit her like that, but and miss, you know. Will you please shoot your breath at me? I need your Oh my god, why why are you like this? Why are you like this, ma'am? It's so weird not hearing her at all. Hold on. Let's put her up to one. Can you shoot some breath, please? Seriously? Like, I don't think I've ever had to struggle to get your dragon breath, ever. Come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This could have been over already, you know. This could have been over already. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, now it's getting that stupid <clears throat> Batania stuff. Come on. Give me another one. Thank you. Yeah, you can hear that plop, plop, plop. That's the Ender Air bottle. Okay, you know what? I'm been doing this too long. I got stuff and things to do, ma'am. Okay, so now... Okay, good. So we can go stick her in the neural network. Uh, 
I think you. Oh, you guys can hush. Anything I'm missing? Did I pick up everything? Okay, I did. Good. So home we go. Audio back up. I don't know why her audio is so crazy different. Okay, so Ender Dragon Breath, let's go. We got this, let's go. We're gonna go stick her in here. Which one do we wanna get rid of? Um, we got plenty of wither stuff, so we're gonna stick her in here. Make some more of the predictions. Oh my gosh, I have hiccups. So another thing that I had said I was going to look into was the music mod that makes it so your music plays all the time and stuff like that. But unfortunately, it hasn't been updated since, oh my god, words, it hasn't been updated since 1.19. So I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. And also, I want to make all the modium carrots because as much as I love my avocado toast, um, it's going to be just so much better to nom on these because they give a ton of saturation. So like a ton I make a whole bunch of nuggies and we've got so much all the modium just floating around from uh from the chunk destroyer so it's not going to be hard for me to go and grab a bunch So instead of these, I'm going to stick these in here like so. And we'll save the avocado toast for our mine colonists. There we go. Okay. So that part's done. I had it on my list. So <laughs> now we got to do the pig glitches because I want to get them going in here. Um, so let's make some more predictions. Wait, do I have my music on at all? Oh my god, I don't. <laughs> I forgot to turn it back on because I was uh, watching a video while I was working on this the other day. Okay, so let's go and find some more of the pyramids and the other. Grab all this stuff out of here and clear it out. Now, what can you get from the Ender Dragon prediction? Let's see. You can get, oh, why did I even, I literally <laughs> was struggling to get Dragon's Breath and you'd literally get it from the Loot Fabricator. Oh my God. Why am I like this? <laughs> why am I like this? Please tell me that I saved. Um... Did I? Oh no. I tried to clear out some of these um these waystones, but <laughs> I lost track of time and wasn't able to continue doing it, so Oh gosh dang it. Um Okay, I guess we're gonna just have to go back in through our end portal. Or end portal. Or another portal. Um. Actually, I could probably stick them in here. I might have to put another piece of cobble, not cobblestone, um, obsidian. Could probably just boop them in here, honestly. They do shoot at witches and stuff, so. This is gonna now be called Piglitch Go Bye Bye. There we go. <laughs> so it <went> updated. 
<laughs> well. Oh, 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 oh. Up we go. Oh, I did have a waystone here. Oh, good. You know what? Brain no worky. Oh, I hear you, you big crybaby. So now we need our structure compass. Hush. Oh my god, everything is happening at once! Shut up! Good grief. Actually, we should get our cages ready. Has this been the one I've already been to? Oh, this might be the one I've already been to. Uh-oh. Let's see. Did I leave the pig glitches here? I don't know if I did. Wait, did I already get some in cages? Hold on. Oh, it would be in the other one, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think... I thought I did. I don't know. Did I? I don't... <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, no. I guess I'm going to have to go and look when I get back. I thought I did. So I know we cleared this one out, right? Oh, there's a piglet there. Oh, maybe we didn't clear this one out? Wait! Oh no, I didn't update the- oh crap, hold on. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm a little bit worried the piglet despawned though. Oh wait, no, there's one there. So I had changed it in the um, in the mod world, but I didn't change it here. So that's one, two, three. I hear more. We've already cleared this place out. So why are there more zombies and stuff? One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. I swear we cleared this place out, didn't we? Um, I guess I'll put this here. Go home. Yeah, I swore that I had uh, done that, but I guess not. So. Now we're gonna go spend a whole long time getting rid of these guys, but I'll probably either end up speeding through the process or just cutting it into whatever. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do it. it depends on how long it's gonna take me to unalive them. But I know somebody had mentioned there was like a way to like get their health down and then boop them, but I completely forget how they said to do it. So we're just gonna go make my life difficult and do it this way. They will start spitting at witches. All right, so that took a little bit longer than I expected it to. So I am not going to uh, make you guys suffer through me doing it five more times. So I'm going to do that and then I'll bring you guys back because uh, yeah, that's gonna take me a minute. <laughs> And I know there's an easier way to do this. I just cannot remember the way the person told me to do it. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back once uh, all of these piglitches are booped. All right, last guy's almost down. Let's see. Oh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that took a little bit of time. And by a little... Oh, I had to adjust my mic. Sorry, I was sitting, I was sitting back. But yeah. Oh my gosh. All the times I adjust how I'm sitting, I keep forgetting my mic has to go a certain way. But yeah. Oh my gosh, that took, that took, uh, probably about, uh, I don't know. Just under 10 minutes to do all of those. Oh my good gravy. But I know there's going to be people that are like, you could have done it this way. And yeah, I'm, trust me, I know. I'm sure there was a way better, easier way, a way better, easier, <laughs> a way easier way for me to do that. But, uh, it's done. Yeah, we never have to do that again, hopefully. Now we're going to stick our little buddy in here make sure we get some more predictions going stick the witch in here 
stick this in here. Oh my gosh, my poor hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, my bow is really good, and so is my sword. So the fact that they still take that long with what I have is wild. Like, their health is so high, and their armor is so high. Uh, thankfully, I think because of my mega torch, the witches weren't spawning, which would have made that take even longer because they just make you stop and have to smack them, which is obnoxious, but that's fine. Any assistance I can take in that is greatly appreciated. So, we'll let these guys do their thing. Oh, I already got a prediction. What? All right. Uh, is my bag on? It is. So we would have gotten some hearts already from them. So the reason why I want the hearts is because I want to make some of the alloys. But to, to make the alloys, um, so first we need power, which is fine. We have that set up. But the second thing we need is uh, Ars Nouveau, which uh, if you guys look in your JEI here. So I'm obviously going to make all of them. But so to make this, you need to do it in your energizing thing, which is fine. We have that set up. But to make the tools... You need Ars Nouveau because you need the enchanting apparatus with an Aldamadium pickaxe and all of these ores surrounding it. So I would like to try to get that started today because it's just so pretty. Like, I love the look of them. Um, but yeah, that that's definitely going to be something that we're going to look into because I still have plenty of recording time left. I have like an hour left of recording time. So we have tons of time to do stuff. Um, what is this saying? Oh, yeah, the Aldamadium carrot. Nice. Now, the faster furnaces, I was always wondering, because, like, the netherite furnaces are really, really quick, but how quick are those furnaces? You know what I mean? Like, and am I able to turn them into, like, a power thing like this? I kind of want to try. I kind of want to see if that's something that I can do, because they're really pretty. Like, I mean, I love purple, so I would love to have a purple and um, unobtainium furnace. So, like, if I do... Are they in here? Yeah, they're right here. Oh, my God, they are quicker. So, the netherite furnaces are cook time five already. So, the aldamadium won't make a difference. But the vibranium and the unobtainium... Like, I mean, these are already pretty quick. So, let's see. Let's see. What do I need to make the unobtainium furnace? I guess these, right? Oh, I need more netherite furnaces. Oh, crap -a -lapa. Okay, hold on. Obsidian furnace, emerald furnace, diamond furnace. Um, oh my god, do I just need to make them from the beginning? I think I only need to do those, and then those, and then those, and then that. And then that, and then that, and then that. Uh oh, what are we missing? Netherite ingots, of course. And then, what are we missing now? Oh crap, All right, because I used the Aldamadium for the carrots. No! All right, hold on, we need to. Uh, Get some more aldamadium going. Use some of our handy dandy hammers here. Oh no, are we gonna have to go and um, get some aldamadium? I think we are. Which is fine because I think I have a, um, a waystone. Or two. At the... Oh, oops. At the, uh... Thing. Is this gonna be enough? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Oh no, do I need more vibranium as well? <laughs> oh 
Oh no. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to make a little detour. How much unobtainium do I have? Lots. So that's fine. The unobtainium, it's funny that we have more unobtainium. All right, I guess we're gonna go on the hunt for some, uh, for some stuff. So let's head over, cause we've got fortune like 10 million on our pick. Let's head over to this. Go down we go. How far is my reach? How far did I put reach on this? Oh, I only have reach six. Oh my God, that speed. The speed. The speed. I just want to see if I'm able to turn these into... I, mean, I should probably have checked before I made four of them. But I'm assuming you can. Like, it would make sense, right? It would make sense if that's something you can do. Because, like, why would you want to go, f like, switch from iron furnaces if you can't... You know what I mean? I mean, oops, and obviously I can use, like, industrial foregoing and use the, the ones that produce, um, the goop. But I don't really need the goop because I have that thing that I can extract XP for myself. Oh god, Any, anytime, I say, anytime I say goop now, like, it just- Gwyneth Paltrow has ruined that word for me. Good grief. You don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm not explaining it. <laughs> nope. Anywho, so let's uh, grab a bunch of this. How much we got? Uh, let's get a little bit more. And then we need to use our vibranium site and head over to the nether. If you guys are wondering why my, my pick is breaking it instantly sometimes and sometimes it's not, it's because the haste is procking on my affixes. Wait, are those... Wait, which ones are affixes? The blue one? Are the yellow one the implicits? I don't know how that works with this mod. I'm sure somebody will know. It's just so much easier to turn off hover, just to fall. Okay, that should be more than enough. So now we're gonna grab our all the modium sites. Or vibranium, I mean. I'm already mixing them up. We're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna go over to the nether. Um, I should have. Mm. Wait. Do I not have anything in the nether anywhere? What? How do I not have anything in the nether? Mm, I do, right here. Man, I'm dumb. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get some vibranium. If you guys are ever looking for a ton of obsidian, find this, like, this biome with all the, the blackstone and stuff. There's tons of obsidian there. Actually, that's RTP. Oh yeah, such a safe location. Sticking me in a wall. Oh wait, am I low or am I high? I think I'm low. Hello.
Hello, pig buddies. I'm just here to find some vibranium. Don't mind me. Got stuck in a wall. Is this on? It is. All right. Come on, Vibranium. Where are you at? Hello, beautiful. Got some more here. So for those of you that don't know, you can't vein mine or uh, ultimine mine any of the Aldamadium ores. They have to be broken, like player broken. So that's another reason why your quarry or your chunk destroyer won't destroy them. So you can find them anywhere in the nether, but the best place is the nether wastes, as you can tell. Uh, it's definitely more frequent here. But with with modded Minecraft, it's really hard to stay in one biome for too long. Because there's biomes literally everywhere that are changed around. Let's see how much we have. Uh, we should be okay. I don't think I can slash home. Oh, I can. Okay. So, turn that off, grab all of our goodies, grab a hammer, or several, stick these in here, and I'm a derp, hold on. Do the vibranium first. Get you cooking. And I know there's a an ore block there, but I want to save those. That should be plenty. I love the look of the compactor, the compressed blocks. They're so pretty. I guess I can take these out for now. Need one more of these guys. The alloys are so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Did I get a flux point as a reward? I think I did, because that doesn't say that it was hooked up to anything, so. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, I was gonna say. I didn't realize we had that much, dang. Wait. What? Didn't we make... Oh. Right, because we were making the vibranium furnaces. Right, 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 right. Okay. Oh my gosh, if I could type. Yeah, all right, so can I make these? Yes, okay, so they work exactly like the iron furnaces. Oh, baby. Give me these. Oh, oops. Okay, so I have to turn these into... So that's a, one of the things I forgot to explain as well with the hookup for the furnaces. I had to tinker with a few of the config settings on the side here for it to actually work. So we're going to have to do it again for this. Uh-oh. Where did the speed or the, the factory upgrades go? Are they still? No. Because when you break the furnaces, they come out. Am I blind? Where the heck? Wait, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Wait. No, they're not still in them. Wait. Oh, you know what? Did they go in here? Yes, there they are. Sneaky. Okay, so now I have to rehook these up. Oh my god, this pickaxe is freaking wild. And this isn't even the super juicy one. Okay, so those are now hooked up to that. So, uh, now I have to do this. There we go. No, back is fuel. Wait, which one did I? Oh, auto split. Wow, that's insane. Okay, look at, oh my God. Yeah, okay, so I did all the top to blue. There we go. Oh my good gravy. <laughs> okay. Oh crap, did I not put it into my inventory? Oh, I did. Oh, cause it's only, it only triggers for the one thing. Okay. Oh my God, look at this. But wait, these ones aren't... Wait, what? Is it going so... No. Yeah, like these ones aren't... Wait. Um, why are these ones not... Huh? It doesn't even look like these ones are doing anything. That's weird. This is how I had it set on the other ones. I am so confused. I mean, it's still going stupid fast, but like, why are these ones not doing the thing? Oh. Interesting. Is it just cuz it's like going too fast or something? I don't I don't know. Is something clogging up the system here? Is it going too f slow? I just... It's almost like the hopper can't keep up and that's the issue. Which is weird because these are really speedy hoppers. But yeah, it just seems like the hopper's just not fast enough. Okay. Anywho. So that's done. Wow, those are zooming. And yeah, so I have them all set here as to what I want to be smelted and yada, yada, yada. Um, let's make that crescent hammer just so I can see. I don't think I want to goob with my, um, my system. Just in case I break something. So let's make this. And I'll just do a little test with like an, just a... A random item or something like that so I don't goob up my system oh stop we'll just test to see how this works so like this you can see that's still goobed ah okay that's actually really handy to know okay thank you Shanksy for uh letting me know about that very very useful my dear all right, let's empty all this crud out of here. So I'm actually going to end up putting these, the grab bags. I still don't know what those do. Is 
They do something, but I don't know what that something is. Obviously it's, actually, should we open them? I have nine of them. Let's see what they are. Oh, these are so cute. Nether Forged, Angel's Thesis, Taken, Girls Love Girls, Twilight, Break the System, Dark Fire. That's so cute. Man, Immersive Engineering is... Oh, this is a, also Sponsor. Sponsor. We love an, an inclusive mod team or dev team. We are here for it. Okay, so... Get rid of all this crud, all this garbo. This was supposed to comp. Oh, actually, you know what? I think that doesn't compact because you can't break it out of the compact the way that you can do other stuff, which makes total sense. Um, put those in there. Get rid of all this. Bye bye bye. Put you in the system. Do a little loo. Go in here. Do do do. Then we're going to um look into ours. Make sure I did everything else I wanted to do. I didn't do the filters for the chests, but um, that might take a bit of time because it does. Like I get really picky with how I set them, but I will show you guys what I'm talking about in terms of saving the slots because it makes it a lot easier than sticking a void upgrade in there. Oh, and we also need to make the void upgrade for the chunk destroyer. This thing, right? here so we're gonna make that as well but it saves like a it saves space and b it uh just makes it easier to just basically keep what you want and not get the obnoxious greg tech ors. i'm gonna make one for the greg tech ors, uh so it doesn't clog up the uh the chunk destroyer but i'm going to i'm just going to show you with the first one and then i'll do the other one after i'm done recording because it does take quite a bit of time so uh even though I, I know what I want to do because I did it in the other server, but okay, let's make the void upgrade first. So this, I just need a book and a pearl. And I think I need to put back down my, we've only heard this music once. Good grief. We need to get the workbench back. I guess I can move this. Um, oh, and I can use that point that I got. Actually, no, we don't even need to, we just put it here. Boop. And set you to machines and then do, 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 do you, thank you. All done. It'll take a million years to break. Okay, so for this thing, when you wanna set it, you just right click on the ground, but I need to put in endstone. I'm not sure if it voids deep slate on its own. I, I'm not 100% sure. And then we're gonna do the dust. So deep slate dust, and stone dust, netherrack dust, and stone dust. And then um, there's a bunch of other ones that I don't need a ton of, like the appetite, sulfur, niter, Raw uraninite. I mean, I have tons of it already. There was another thing I put in there, copper. Okay. And then we go like this. We just stick this in here, and then we're going to stick this into the chunk destroyer. Then we're going to grab the chests. Like so. And I'll show you guys what I mean by saving the slots. So if you go in here to the memory settings, down here you'll see uh, slot ones and, and so on and so forth. So they obviously aren't gonna carry over. I could like export them from the other server, but that's just a whole bunch of headache I don't wanna do right now. So I'm gonna do this one and we're gonna set this one and then we're gonna, I'll, I'll do the other one afterwards cause I'm gonna have to go through all the Greg tech ors and stuff like that. But I do have a screenshot for myself. So it's gonna make it a little bit easier on me um to remember what i had in here so oh actually you can just drag things from the from jei i forgot about that so the first thing i did was the certus because that um is going to be super useful so certus and here i do three slots for each like this 
and I'll show you guys what I mean by saving it. So like once I get this all full, I'll do it again. But if I want to save this to slot one, I click this. Now, if you want to set to a different slot, you just use your scroll wheel and then I can set another one to slot two. But for one, this is slot one. And then if I put another chest down and I go into slot memory settings, I can load settings from slot one or where whatever. If you want to say if you have two, three, four, five, you just use your scroll wheel on this as well and it'll load it. Now, both of these have that setting, but obviously this one isn't going to be for this because, yeah, we don't we don't need two of them. But let's set the rest of this up. And then we'll go stick it with the chunk destroyer. Um... I'm debating. I really wish I took a screenshot of the second one, but it's just a whole bunch of Greg tech stuff. So, and you can only add one void upgrade to the chunk destroyer. So if you wanted to void other stuff, you would either have to do like one chest of like a void upgrade, um, like four void upgrades, and then maybe like just let it void everything that goes into this bag. You could also do that or, or this box, I mean, or you could set all your settings and do spend time doing that. So I'm, I figured out the best way to do it for me. Uh, because I very easily this system will get overrun with Greg Tech stuff because obviously there's a lot of it. But um, this chest is for the stuff that I want to keep and have quite a bit of. Uh, oops, 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 oops. I meant to do this. Oh my god, click. So three for these because um, now doing it this way, it gives me the opportunity to have bigger stack upgrades, which means I can have even more of the items. Now, honestly, three for each is actually overkill, but these are the only items that I want in this chest. Another thing that I did notice though, so for a lot of the raw Greg Tech ores, a lot of them will actually convert into the, um, all the Madium ores, so like tin, lead, stuff like that. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're setting this as well, because it'll go into one of the other ores that's going to be set in here. And since I will be having the compacting upgrade in this, it's also going to compact a lot of stuff. The compressing upgrade doesn't seem to work very well, which I wish it would, but unfortunately the compression doesn't even work anyways, because the compression only works on the smelted blocks, if that makes any sense. So we are going to set this. So I'm going to do, I'm so glad I took this screenshot because I, now I don't have to sit here and try to remember everything that I did. I did these here. So those are going to turn into those. And then, oh, right. Wait, what? Uh, I forgot. Is it going to? No, it doesn't compress. I literally just said that. <laughs> I got distracted. I could hear the home phone ringing. It's been going absolutely wild today. Those and then those will get compact or comp Compacted? Yeah, compacted into those. And then I also need to do the gold, raw gold, because that's going to get compacted into the other blocks. So we do these as well. And then I'm going to do the raw gold here. Actually doing it a little bit different than my screenshot, because when I did my, my other setup, I forgot to <laughs> do the raw gold. Um, and then we'll do iron. Oh, no, sorry, emeralds. Why is everything and its grandmother going off today? Like, please, phone, stop. So those, and then those. The next one is iron. So, do, 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 do. I just realized something. Uh oh. I just realized in my screenshot, I forgot to do raw iron. Oh no. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I just realized raw iron isn't in there. Uh oh, I was tired when I was doing it. So uh, my brain wasn't, where is, hello? Oh, it's right here. I'm blind clearly. Um, And then this. And then the next one was quartz. So these right here. And then it'll compact them into this. And then the raw nether quartz, which is from Greg Tech, which is also very useful. A lot of the stuff from Greg Tech isn't all that bad. Like, it's just some of it can be just clogging. But some of the stuff is really useful, especially these certus. Uh, raw nether quartz, like so. 
And then the next one was Imperium. Not Imperium. Oh my gosh, I always mix mix them up. So these here. And then the Inferium blocks here. And then the next one was the Prosperity Shards. These here, and then these get compacted into Prosperity Blocks. And then the next one is, I think, all the all the Modium Ores. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? We can do it this way. But anyways, I'm not, I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing this. I'm actually not going to go set this down uh, today. You know what? I'll just save this. Uh, so now if you so the reason why you want to save them so it saves it to this specific save file so if I break these and then I try to put the chest back down it doesn't save it in the chest right so now it's blank don't panic go back to your memory settings and then click load and then it'll load it from your load but yeah I'm, I'm gonna finish doing this another time because like I said I don't want to spend the rest of the episode doing this but now you guys know how to do it and you know how I'm going to be doing it. So all of that is now good to go. We'll just put this stuff in here. So the next thing I want to do is did this, did this. We need to start ours because, oh, actually, you know what we can do before I do that? I can go and make some of these alloys and show you guys how to do the alloys. So I grab these and then we'll grab some of the ingots. So the mixture is going to be, uh oh, I need, so, oh, do I need more? No, I think that's actually gonna be enough, at least just for the sake of experimentation and showing you guys. So the piglet chart has to go in the middle, I believe. So if I go like this, like this and then like this so that should make it's it's pretty slow um that'll make the uh, all the modium and vibranium then there's all the modium and unobtainium and then there's vibranium and by uh, bi 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 vibranium and unobtainium which is going to be my favorite obviously because the all the modium stick is already going to be enough yellow for me but yeah so we're going to make this i'm going to turn off my backpack magnet For some reason, the song makes me think of Halloween, and I don't know why. <laughs> I genuinely don't know why it makes me think of Halloween, but it does. So that's that one. That'll pop up. I'm going to be right back, though, before I do the other ones. Okay, we're back. So we made the vibranium and all the modium. So now we're going to do all the modium and unobtainium. This one's a little bit faster because I have these up to 42 billion. I'm not sure if I did that in one of the other episodes or not, but uh, I do want to get them up quite a bit higher. Because in my other server, I have them, I think, to like 100 billion or something like that. I would like to make some solar panels as well to attach to them because it does juice them up. You know, it adds a little bit of uh, extra help for the thermos. But, I mean, each of these has two thermos attached, so I'm not really too concerned. And the last one is going to be... Now, obviously, you need to make more of these for uh, ours and stuff like that, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it for the time being. So many pretty colors. Another thing that I noticed, <clears throat> if you guys are auto sorting in your backpacks and you have the um, Inception upgrade. So here's the thing with that. Uh, the middle click, you know, like auto sort button is fine in every other inventory. But if I, if I have, if I have a few backpacks in here, the auto sorter is a little bit slow. Um, and I did some testing to make sure that's what it was. So I wanted to be like 100% sure that that's exactly what was doing it. And that is because any other inventory that I go into, it doesn't happen. So it's definitely the the inception for whatever reason. But yeah, we got this all done. 
see my luck on the the random quest or the random rewards refined obsidian ingots and flux dust i have not been having good rng for the quest rewards in this world <laughs> like at all it's just absolutely awful okay so those are all done now you guys know how to do those look at these oh my god look at the speed oh my god this is insane it is zooming through so now when i overload this this system with too many ores it's just gonna zoom through them like this is crazy wow that's wild how quick that's going oh and it's making it a lot easier to grab the xp too oh my god look at all that delicious xp it's so good so good look at it compacting too oh my god beautiful look at the compacting so good so so tasty we love it we love it <laughs> they're purple i mean come on <laughs> okay so i wanted to start on ours but do i want to do ours or do i want to do the solar panels today because ours is going to be like a whole episode in itself and i've only got about 30 more minutes so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ours for alloy tools. Um, yeah, I think we'll do ours as like the start of the next episode because it's going to take a while. Let's make some of the solar panels. Um, the thing with that is I need to do a little bit of grinding for the power resources because I don't have a whole ton, especially of the spirited stuff and the niotic. So let's just do a bunch of that. Oh my gosh. Do I really? Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe I do need to get that uh, chunk destroyer going again quickly. Oh, uh, I don't really have time to deal with that right now. That's fine. I will do that when I am done my other IRL stuff. When I am done recording. I'm actually going to put that on the handy dandy list. Um, <clears throat> set. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not, that's the wrong list. Set filters for chests. I mean, at this point, I could probably just go plunk the Chunk Destroyer down and just put two normal chests there because we aren't clogged with Greg Tech stuff yet, but I will do that later because I want to do this right meow. Because unfortunately, we need a butt ton. Uh, oh my god, please. We need a ton of these resources for these solar panels, and I'm going to show you guys why it is such a pain in the butt to make these. We're going to, so just before I even start, I'm going to make sure I have a plethora of all of the materials that I need. So the blaze you're going to go through really quickly because you need the blaze powder for the, um, the paste and stuff like that, and for the solar panel like base items. And then, of course, you need lots of iron for the iron bars, for the different, like, uh, rod pieces. And, oh, my gosh, it's just a lot. So just make sure before you start. This is one of the things that, like, at the, at the start of my series or at the start of my worlds, I go out and get what I need when I need it. But I really like to stock up on stuff. So when I'm crafting and I'm in the zone, I don't have to stop to go. It'll happen sometimes. But I like to try to avoid doing that as much as possible because it's so important that I don't break that hyper focus. Oh, for Pete's sake. Because I get so... Um, I lose my train of thought and then I have to remember exactly where I was. And then it's just, it's just a whole headache for me to deal with. So uh, if you guys ever see me doing things like that, that's why. And I, I remember, so when I, in the mod world, I set up my first uh, power, like set up with the rods and everything without auto crafting, like not auto crafting, without um, a crafting grid, without a whole storage system. So I was doing it from chests and I never want to do that again because, oh my God, that was a nightmare for me to deal with. I had to like remember every single item and count every single item. And I mean, math is not my strong suit. Like it just, it really is not. <laughs> I, I can do it. That's fine. But 
oh my gosh it just tires my brain out so much and i'm just i'm playing minecraft to learn and to like figure things out the best that i can without having to do math on top of all of that because it's already draining learning new mods and remembering like once i learn something i'm pretty good at remembering it with a mod especially if i really enjoy it sometimes i'll forget it like if it's been years since playing with a mod obviously i need a refresher but you know if i'm playing with power on one server coming back to this one it's not that bad or playing with another mod coming to the server it's not that bad but yeah so i try to avoid breaking my focus as much as possible <laughs> because it just it's not fun for you guys and it's it just it's embarrassing for me so it's the same thing that happened with like the furnace is getting hooked up i was in such a refined storage brain set that like a brain set mindset whatever that i was so used to doing it one way and it, it took me getting up going to get a tea and like petting timo and being like wait a second <laughs> let me go try this and then i came back and sure enough that's what worked so yeah, sometimes it's, it's like that with anything. If you're, you know, you're having a block, say, for painting or for any type of art or, you know, school or work or whatever, just take a second, go, you know, relax your eyes or relax your brain, go distract yourself with something and then come back and look at it again with like a fresh set of eyes, you know, because that, that nine times out of 10, that will help for sure. And it, that's for true. <laughs> for true it is true for serious i don't know whatever for especially for mods and modded minecraft i also saw a comment before starting to record of somebody mentioning tango text like a wither like getting forget some system for getting nether stars i mean that's vanilla so yeah like uh, those guys are crazy good with redstone but this is modded minecraft i don't need a vanilla redstone contraption to take care of the wither like <laughs> i do the wither cheese thing i mean that you could do that in vanilla but i have the neural networks i don't need i don't need a vanilla uh, contraption to do that but i do appreciate the comment because tango is definitely a genius when it comes to redstone he has a smart bean that one He's one of the, oh, 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 I did the thing again. I clicked too quickly. He's one of the hermits that I do enjoy watching. I, I tend to enjoy watching the, the ones that are closer to my age because they're so chill. Like, it's so nice to listen to them just talk and, like, go through things and everything. And don't get me wrong, like, it, all of them are great. But sometimes, like, the screaming, just, I can't. <laughs> the, the, the noise levels, my brain is just like, oh, ouch. <laughs> my poor earballs. I do love Scar, though. He's great. I enjoy watching him. He is a good egg. All right, so we'll do some more of these and we're going to get some blazing done. And then I'm going to do a little bit more of the niotic stuff. Or I, there, I did it again. Nitro stuff. We're doing niotic right now. Um, This is niotic, right? Yeah. But uh, I'm probably going to interchangeably call one niotic and one nitro because for whatever reason, my brain can't differentiate between the two freaking names. And I don't know why. We should have plenty after I'm done this little bit here. And then we'll go grab some nether stars. Actually, no, I need to do the blazing first because I need the blazing for the nitro. I should probably make some hardened as well, now that I think about it, because I might not have enough, because I'm not kidding when I say like, and I pro, oh, for Pete's sake. I'm pro, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm probably not going to do, oh my God, stop double clicking. I'm probably not going to do, two solar panels because oh my like at least not right now but i will hook one up to the thing that's using the most okay so we got those those are good then we need blazing oh we only have 39 so yeah we're definitely going to need some more Ooh, do i need to i might have to put my blazes back in Oh no! Oh no! I might have to get the Blaze Boys back in here. Okay, the Ender Dragon's gonna have to wait because. Oh no. Yeah, we definitely need more Blaze for sure.
Oh my god, this one's so quick. The double clicking. <laughs> the double clicking is happy. I do have to remember that I can record about probably 10 minutes higher than I normally do because I'm going to be cutting out about 10 minutes of the the piglage booping. Now, if the person who mentioned how to take care of them uh, quicker is watching this video, please tell me how you said it or how you did it because, I mean, I obviously don't need it again in this world, but say if I do another world or something and I want to do that, please let me know because, uh, yeah. I've already done it in the mod world, I've already done it here, but I'm sure my hand and my wrist will appreciate that. I tried hitting them with my sword, with my axe, like, and er both my sword and my bow are super crazy strong. So there's obviously, and I know the Mahu sword obviously is going to be good for that, but uh, yeah, let me know. And if you guys don't have it so your cages can pick up pigliches, because uh, I have mine set to any mod, or that it could, it'll pick up anything. Uh, I think you guys could also do it with the, uh, is it industrial foregoing mob catcher? Hold on. Is that in here? Yeah. The mob imprisonment tool. You can also use that. I think. I think that'll work. I'm pretty sure that'll work for any of the mobs, but you could try that as well. I mean, that's not too bad to make if you can make the plastic, but... We're definitely going to get into industrial foregoing because, oh gosh, I love that mod. And I don't know why I enjoy setting up the, um, the plastic, like, little setup thing so much, but ugh, I, I enjoy it so much. It's so much fun. So do this, and then we need to get some redstone. Now we're going to put you in here. Take you. Oh, redstone. There we go. And we're going to go do this. Because I don't think I have a lot of nitro stuff. And I do need to get past the whole uh, not wanting to set up automation for this because it's definitely going to be a necessity. I mean, we're... St <laughs> I don't know what you need to set up, like, the reactors and stuff like that and how much, you know, crafting you have to do on this energizing thing. But I'm assuming if it's anything like the solar panels, if it needs just as much, if not more items that this, like the solar panels do, I'm guessing I'm going to need to automate this somehow. But like, I would hope that, you know, throughout the years, it's gotten a little bit easier to automate it. Because like even anything that I looked up was for a couple versions ago. So maybe it's been made. Oh, my God. Maybe it's been made easier or maybe there's another mod in here that will make it easier. Um without having to set up like a whole giant system of stuff. Like, I thought maybe like dispensers or hoppers or something would work, but no, that's that's definitely not gonna work for this. At least not from what I tried. So if anybody knows, and I know there's lots of you that leave lots of helpful comments, you can let me know. This will be Jack's time to shine if he wants to teach me about that kind of automation because he really, really wants me to automate more. All right, so we should have plenty for that. Okay, so let's start making these solar panels. I'm, I'm going to say, we're like I said, we're ha we have plenty, but I still think we might not have enough. Because that's how insanely crazy these are. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this. And let's go to solar panels. Oh, they're so dark, I can't see them. Oh my god. And then this, we need this, we need this, we need these. Okay, I need to make a bunch of dialectic. Yes, yeah, so these rods, <clears throat> you're going to want to make a whole ton of them. And see how I'm already out of paste? Oh my gosh. Oh, and I'm out of clay. No, are you serious? I'm out of clay? Oh no. Okay, we're going to have to go and find a lush cave really quickly. Oh no. Uh, this isn't... Oh, that has silk touch on it. Son of a... Um... I just need just a basic shovel. Just a basic shovel. Okay, let's just use this leaf. <laughs> Whatever. I should have a lush cave here. 
with a ton of clay. And I turned off my compacting upgrade, right? Yes. Oh, well, rip. <laughs> rip. Clay is definitely going to be the thing that you need a lot of as well. And unfortunately, you can't, like, break clay down in your crafting the way you can other items. Like, you can't just put a block down and it'll turn it into clay balls, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Um, I do feel like we're going to have to get more blaze powder, though. So let's see. Are you guys pumping stuff out? Let's get you going. Get rid of all of you guys. Stick you in here. Grab you, grab all of you. We're gonna need a ton of that paste. We have so much coal, so... Coal is actually going to be incredibly important for power. so... I, I said that, like, I didn't need a ton of coal, but I mean... The uh, Chunk Destroyer gets a stupid amount of it, and I also have it set for... These two do the block of raw coal, because some of these Greg Tech ones you can send in, uh, in block form. So the coal is definitely going to be something that we, we use for that. I'm already out of blaze. Okay, so we're just gonna have to do this with what we have for now. We're gonna need a ton of these rods. Oh my gosh, and iron apparently, because everything's compacted. It's good for the system, but my gosh, when you want to craft. So I always recommend keeping like a bunch of it un uncompacted, especially iron, because you need so much of it for this. Oh my gosh, I'm already out of more rods. Good grief. So these, yeah, these casings are going to be important. Okay, so we can do the starters. Oh, maybe we can't. We have to make the plates. Oh, and then we need glass. Oh my god. <laughs> See what I mean? And this is like, I'm not even going to... Yeah, it, it, it's wild how much you need. It is so crazy. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of glass panes. I should probably get some sand smelting as well. Um, because we're definitely going to need more glass. And I enjoy this stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. This is the stuff that I really love doing between episodes. But when you're trying to cram everything into a short little, like, uh... No, well, short, but you know what I mean. Into a certain time frame, it gets pretty crazy. I didn't even realize we had this much glass. Oops. Because it compacted it in the furnace, so... Oopsie. Or in the chest from the furnace. Okay, so now... We got so much lapis. Oh gosh, we're already out of paste again. <gasps> the blaze is gonna be a block for me. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oops. I put this in the wrong one. I am a dummy. I meant to put that here. So definitely got to get the blaze boys going again and just keep them in there for a bit. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get up to nitro in this episode because <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of back and forth. This is again, so this back and forth is exactly why I like to prepare myself and have a ton of stuff ready. Because for these, it's just, it gets insane. It gets absolutely insane. Okay, so let's start making some starters. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting I need these as well. Oh my god, you guys see what I mean? It's insane. It is in freaking insane. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this today. Oh no. I was really hoping I could, but uh, unfortunately... It's the, the blazes. The blazes might be effing me over at the moment. 
Yep. Okay. Well, we're just we're gonna have to go to the next one, I guess, and just go from there. So this is going to be basic. And then this is gonna be hardened. See, no, I need more paste. I can't even continue. I need more paste. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this on the list because uh yeah. I need to grind for resources. Grind for more resources for solar panel and do in next episode. Yeah, because I don't have enough time to sit here and do like wait for the blazes and stuff like that. So what can we do for the last little bit of the episode? We can do these, do these, okay. Guess we can empty this. Oh, that's a bummer. I was actually really excited about that. Guess we can finish up some quests. So let's see what we need. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Master. Oh, actually, what we can do, we can do this. Master Crystal. Do this. So this is what they were talking about here, the Master Infusion Crystal and the Inferium Blocks. I don't know if you can do this with any of the other crystals. I'm pretty sure it has to be the Master Infusion Crystal, right? Am I wrong? I don't even have another crystal to test it with, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this seems like something that you would have to have a master crystal for. What I'd like to try to do is maybe make that creative essence and see if I can at least unlock that part. Let's see if we can do it. And I like that the system automatically puts the master crystal in, like I did it manually here, but it'll automatically put it in um, if you click on the thing because uh, a lot of the times it won't even register that you need to put that one in, so. I do need to make some more, wait, where is it? That, okay, so. Um, brain fart. I don't know why I took that out of there. So we do these like this. Oh, oopsie, oopsie doopsie. Make our tortium. And then we do this, Imperium. And then we do this and go Supremium. And then, oops, oops, oops. Okay, so to make the Creative Essence, which is right here, I need Insanium Gemstone Blocks. Okay, so I definitely need to break this down then. So I need these, I need these. I need to make more of prosperity things. There we go. And then creative essence, bam. So that one's done. So that should, there we go. I forgot to click the, the, the what happens next. So now we have all of these to turn in from storage. Oh, I get a lot of the, the no rewards. Oh, cool, the void, oh, nice. So all of these items that we got from the, um, the Cataclysm mod is all required for the, all the modiums, um, this quest line, the Aldamadium Star quest line. That's so awesome. I'm actually really glad we did that. I'm getting all these random goodies. Oh, I got honeycomb. Ooh. How did I get a pneumatic crafted? Just because like I got items from that? Ooh, that's really cool. So the, the space stuff is in here as well. So when we go to Ad Astra. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so what did we get? 
So we got an amethyst hammer, a lapis lazuli, lazuli, lazuli. I still, I hate, okay, I don't hate, but it, they look like little candies. Look at, they look like little candies. I mean, the, the cables themselves look the same when you put them down, sort of. I mean, they're still cute, but the image, ah, oh, the images just don't, mechanism, why? Why, why, why you do this to my heart? Why, why did you do this to me? <laughs> Why did you do this to me, Mechanism? I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, the alloys, where are they? I mean, I guess it, th this one only looks like the candy. These ones have like the little squares next to them, so it makes sense. But, um, where are, oh, actually, those are kind of cute. Where is the, where are the alloys? Where are the alloys? I need to show you guys what I'm talking about these the infused alloys like they're cute they look like little like ingots and stuff but oh my god i really loved that like pretty um and this is just me being super picky just ignore me but i really love that cool kind of like it wasn't really a star but you guys know what i'm talking about it just it looks so much i don't know it looks so different and because there's so many like alloys and ingots and i guess it does make sense because they're called alloys it makes sense to have this shape but i think my brain is just so caught up in the you know the way they used to look and i'm being stubborn but yeah so <laughs> i'm just being stupidly picky whatever okay so the growth accelerators how do we make the growth accelerators let's see oh i don't have the blue one in there oh i don't need the blue one because i have that uh so how do we make these? So I need the gemstone. Okay. Oh, these are gonna be good for like industrial for going farms and stuff like that. So I can do those. Okay, so we got a growth accelerator for that. We'll take that like that. Growth accelerator for that. Growth accelerator for that. And growth accelerator for that. Nice. So we can read what that says. Uh, growth accelerators very slightly increase the growth speed of a seed when placed directly underneath the farmland. So yeah, that would be really helpful for the uh, for the industrial foregoing. Assuming that it doesn't goober with the system, I don't think it would. Uh, each tier has a range of how many blocks up it can accelerate, with Inferium being the lowest at 12. So if it's right under the farmlands, but it goes up 12 blocks, does that mean it's talking about stackable farms? Or how does that work? Uh, note, growth accelerators of all tiers provide the same rate of growth ticks. Higher tiers, however, have a larger range. So you can stack more of them below a single plant. It doesn't matter which tier you use as long as the growth accelerator is placed within its max range. So up though, I'm confused about how that works. Cause like, why would you stack them? I don't know, someone's gonna have to explain that to me because my brain isn't quite comprehending exactly what they mean by the stacking. Interesting. Tinkering table, right, we've made that. Creating mob seeds. Most seeds are simple to make, but to make mob seeds, you need, you'll need to ha You'll need to head to the nether to pick up some solium. Have that. With the stone and ore that you find, you'll need to use these to make the solium dagger and soul jars. Using a dagger to kill mobs, you'll be able to gather their souls, which are used in the infusion altar to create the respective mob seeds. Alternatively, you can fill soul jars inside of the soul extractor by inserting a jar and using mob items. Oh my gosh, I'm putting this straight on the list. That sounds like so much fun. Mystical agriculture mob seeds. Yeah. Again. That sounds like a lot of fun. Even though we really don't need it right now, that sounds like a lot of fun. Where oops, I'm clicking the wrong stuff. So we need to make the solium dagger, soul jar, and soul extractor. So solium dagger. Golden sword, done. Solium ingots, done. Soul dagger, acquired. Soul jar. Oh. I need another solium ingot. Soul glass. No, I'm out of soul dust again. Oh, wait, smooth soul stone. I don't think I have enough soul stone. Oh, wait, can I? 
cook this into smooth soul stone or into soul stone oh i have tons okay so you just make this into oh i see i see i see okay it's so fast it doesn't even look like it's cooking like look at how quick that's going there's a lead block clogging that up it's so quick that oh my gosh that is insane oh wait what oh so it's like a system oh okay 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 hold on so you do this and then you take this and you cook it down into oh So we take this and then we cook this back down into oh cool i wish that uh music mod would update that'd be very nice okay soul jar done Soul extractor. Oh crap, I have to make another solium dagger. Oh, fudge. Okay, soul dagger. What else do I need? I need two more solium ingots. Machine frame, okay. Oh, I need to make another dagger now though because now that's eaten my dagger. Okay. Cool. Very, very cool. I'm really excited. There's uh, so many things to explore for the next episode. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Today was a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to discover more of the mystical agriculture stuff and Ars Nouveau and all that jazz next time. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.